Hey guys, this is an update on my Ficus Lorata 2 or if a leaf a fig a tree 2. So now I'm just gonna show you. If you're on my Instagram, you've probably already seen my post in regards to updating the baby leaves, and these are some of them. It really has flourished ever since I have put them back all together from you know putting them in their separate individual pots, which they never really grew. And um, I'm really happy that I made that decision to put them back together. I don't really see myself separating them anytime soon. Not, I mean, maybe when they're taller than I am. And right now they're on a plant stand. So um, they look a little tall, but they're not really that tall right now. I would prefer if that um, they would be like from the floor up. They would be like six to seven feet tall and maybe I, that's probably when I'm gonna separate them I think so yeah uh, for now I'm really enjoying how bushy it is and as you can see sorry as you can see over here I have some growth and I do have edema I really do love the edema um, I'm one of those people like as long as it's not really a bad situation I really love it I love that it gives it like that maroon kind of freckle look I really love that. Um, you know, I accept my baby the way she the way she is, and so yeah. Um, here, there's not really much. Um, there's a teeny tiny nub over there. If you could see that right there, that's like trying to grow, but you know, nothing still. Um, this one over here, let me just focus on that one. Okay, that one over there, um, this one is new. This one is new, obviously, and there's a new one that's going to pop up really soon. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to talk about this one right here. So this one right here, I was having issues with it, and I trimmed it, I trimmed it, I trimmed it. I trimmed it multiple times, and so far, I don't really see any new growth. Um, all right, um, as I was saying, there isn't really a new growth in that one, so I'm very disappointed. Um, I'm kind of thinking, like, if it's, I don't know, even know the time frame that I'm giving it. If there's still no new growth, I'm probably going to just sever this leaf and cut it, like, above the node or wherever you're supposed to cut to encourage more growth. So pretty much pinching it. Um, this one is just unbelievable. So baby, I mean, you know, leaf, leaf here. I don't think that, um, I don't think this is, this came with me. I think I got, sorry, I think I got this leaf when I bought it. But look at how many she's sprouting. So she got like one, two, three, and then two more. She got one, two, three, and she got two more coming up. So I'm very happy with that. This one also, this these two are the new growth. And there is one new right here and another one on the side. So this is going to like split up pretty much, I think. I think, but we'll see. Um, and I think those are the only trees in this particular pot. As I have mentioned before, I really, really love this plant. And I don't know. Unless this really gets enormous, I, you know, I don't know. I feel like I just, I want to get another one and keep it in one pot, just like my, my ficus literata one, and just let them grow. And I think that will be the last one I'll get. I'm not really sure. I really, really love this plant, this, this particular species of plant. Um... And you know what? It was a friend of mine that convinced me to get it. She's like, go get it. It's cheap in your area. You know, if I get it in my area, it's kind of expensive, which I was really kind of shocked. But I went out and to chance, I saw it somewhere. I forgot. Or I don't know. I don't even know where I got it. And I just like, you know what? Why not? You know, and I got it and just completely fell in love with it I fell in love with it because it's so bushy it's huge and it gets enormous and my husband didn't really he was just like 
indifferent about it. And then we went to the Brookfield Zoo up in Illinois, um, or like up north in Illinois. And um, he was like, oh my gosh, they get that big. And I'm like, yeah, they get pretty, pretty big. He's like, do you think yours are going to be like that? I'm like, I doubt it. But I'm hoping maybe one day. <laughs> they were huge. I would, because um, they were kept in, I think the, uh, I would say the monkey situation, like the monkey building. And they were like, I would say 50 feet tall, I think. I'm not sure. They were huge. But then when you get in there, it's like an oven. It is so humid. It is so hot. I don't think I'm going to put my house that kind of environment. So they thrive in there, but it's different in my home. I prefer to be a little bit on the colder side than the hot side. Um, so there you go. This is my update on this. And the reason that I do that is so that anybody who's curious about it can see any development and all that good stuff. And um, down below are going to be the information of what I have been doing and what have i have been feeding and all that stuff i hope you enjoy my video you're gonna hit the like button and the subscribe if you haven't and of course the bell so you're notified every single time i upload a new video um so it started off like this was kind of sad with my first vlog because it was you know come on you've seen that one and now it's all coming together and this is from trial and error this plant really is more of a root bound and that's how they thrive if you put them in a more bigger pot I I think it's harder for them to grow, essentially. Um, I think a lot of plants are just like that. You have to consider most plants, most house plants, unless they're cacti or succulent, most of them are usually like a tropical plant. And in the tropics, they don't really need to dig deep for water or moisture. It's humid and it rains a lot, so they don't really need that kind of depth and they could just grow as big as possible. I mean, obviously, they're going to be you know, plants and trees that are going to dig deep and, you know, certain things, how they grow with their root system and it's, it's big and stuff like that. But a lot of them aren't like that. And this really isn't. So, uh, again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support and, um, the encouragement and the wonderful, beautiful words you guys send me, um, snail mail, uh, direct messages, um, comments, all that stuff. You know, I have a lot of dark days, more so than not, and um, when when I read those, it really does help, and it does help kind of drag me out of the dark place that I sometimes am due to PCS, anxiety, and depression, and things like that. Having a indoor uh, plant collection does help. It helps with my memory. It helps with my mood. It helps with a lot. So thank you guys again. If you guys want to chit-chat about anything, let me know down below in regards to PCS, depression maybe, or anxiety, or gardening, or this particular plant. And again, whatever I'm feeding or, you know, what I'm giving this baby every time I water is going to be down in the description section. So do check that out. Anything else I failed to mention, let me know down below so I can answer all of those inquiries or questions or any thoughts. Um, thank you guys again for the love, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.